The most recent trailer has brought up a lot of questions, one of them being what happened to Zelda. I have a theory that is a little bit crazy but also has some merit behind it with the new trailer images. I have a theory that Zelda somehow went back in time. Let's get into it. Now I know this is a bit of a wild thought compared to some other theory videos, but I have a couple different instances in this most recent trailer that really show off how this could actually be possible and some clues that kind of point us in this direction. To start, we see Zelda falling in the underground crypt where Ganon is being brought back to life right in front of us. We can faintly see some golden lights shining around her as she's falling. Now these lights could really mean absolutely anything. From the goddess looking after her since she is a vessel for her, to some kind of protection magic started to take effect around her. We don't fully know. It's all speculation. But what if these golden lights are somehow taking Zelda to a previous time period, one where Ganon hasn't attacked the world just yet? When we see her again in the trailer after she's fallen down, she seems to be wearing what seems to be older looking clothes, and I don't really mean that they're dirty from wearing them too much kind of old. I'm meaning the style of clothing looks to be much older than the clothes that we see Zelda and Link wearing in not just this recent trailer, but throughout Breath of the Wild as well. She's not wearing that signature blue tunic that we knew her in, especially in this trailer and at the end of Breath of the Wild. She's now wearing a completely white dress with a bunch of different ornaments, a bunch of different jewelry that really don't go along with any of the stuff that they were wearing in Breath of the Wild and also in the brand new Tears of the Kingdom trailers. Along with Zelda's clothing, we see someone approaching her wearing something similar in clothing style. Kind of the same patterns in the jewelry, but obviously a different color in clothing altogether. She's wearing white, they're wearing black and kind of darkish green. I believe this to be the leader of the Zonai, the people who came before the events of Breath of the Wild. Meaning that Zelda could really only meet this guy if she went way back into the past. A time before Ganon tried to take over the world of Hyrule and used Calamity Ganon to really attack the world with a lot of malice. Now along with this Zonai King, we get a glimpse of someone who looks related to Zelda, to be completely honest. I have a theory that this actually Actually is the very first Zelda of the entire Legends of Zelda storyline, the first reincarnation of the goddess Hylia herself. I have a different theory video coming out around this, so make sure you guys stick around for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to see it. But these two are wearing the exact same clothing. Maybe the dress is a little bit different and the hair is a lot different, but the features are also extremely different. One has a lot longer ears and a much stout nose compared to the Zelda that we know and love from Breath of the Wild and now Tears of the Kingdom. This is all to say that Zelda is clearly not in the current day Hyrule, but somewhere or some when entirely different. Finally, when we see Zelda standing on what looks to be one of the towers in the game, she's holding the intact Master Sword. We can clearly see that there are zero sky islands as well, and no visible calamity spreading across the land, and no destruction that we can see from this little snippet. Now, of course, this is a very small section of Land of Hyrule, but the biggest missing factor that we see in Tears of the Kingdom that is missing from these scenes where Zelda is in all this different ancient looking attire is that there's no Sky Islands, which is a major part of what comes after they interact with Ganon. The Hyrule Castle goes up to the sky, and then also the Sky Islands appear as well. That we're assuming that this is what causes the Sky Islands to reach up into the sky. From the intact Master Sword, zero Sky Islands visible in the sky, and there's just no destruction or calamity whatsoever, I think this is a pretty clear way to show that one, Zelda's not in the same place that we left her, and two, it would be a pretty good place to be to show that she's in a time way before any calamity happened whatsoever. Now, I know how crazy this sounds, but also at the same time, we've gone into the future in Zelda games before, such as Ocarina of Time, when you're a kid Link, you get the Master Sword, you then become adult Link. What is so far-fetched about us going from the present Hyrule into a previous Hyrule? It's just the opposite directions compared to Ocarina of Time, so honestly, I think this would be pretty fun to see, but I want to know what you guys think as well. I think having us go back in time with Zelda particularly would put a lot of different perspective on the games and this particular game in and of itself a lot more. I mean, Zelda is known to have so much knowledge around Hyrule's history, and that's why she's probably the best person to send back in time, if anyone. Now this is just my theory as what happened to Zelda because clearly something happened to her but I also want to know what you guys think about this theory and your theories as well of what happened to Zelda. I've seen ones where Zelda has simply fallen into an underground city to meet the Zonai who have been hiding for hundreds of thousands of years. I've also seen theories that she possibly died after meeting Ganon and falling through this giant hole. Let me know what you guys think is more likely than uh, my time travel theory. Let me know what your guys thoughts are down below in the comment section. I appreciate you guys getting this far into the video. Please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button so you catch up on all the different theories and the gameplay of Tears of the Kingdom when it fully comes out. Once again, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll catch you guys on my next video.